All right, peoples. It's Atlas again. Uh, I have an honorary professor deck profile here for you. I'll be honest. I don't like it much. I just made it for the sake of science and because content is content, so let's do it. Uh, your starter is Gifted Bear. He's, he's Bear Blocks. Is still, he's a forerunner, and then you can rest him and reveal a grade three honorary professor. Thank you. Uh, from your hands, and then you can search a different honorary professor from your deck, and then after you do that, you discard a card, and if you use this effect, he's retired at the end phase, so this is so you can get your break red combo off, so if you have one, you search the other, fantastic, and then uh, you would also use the life insurance twins of Duckbill and Mike Saburo on him, so it's, uh, it's your preferred starter, so yay. Uh, grade threes, you have four copies of honorary professor Chatnoir, he's the break ride. I have the BT-13 art because I'm awesome. Uh, his skills, when you break right on him, at limit, uh, you know, break right, your vanguard gets red text. When a rear guard attacks, you can pick a rear guard, be it itself or something else, and give it uh, plus 4k, and at the end of the turn, draw and retire. So because this is all the skill on the vanguard, that means if your opponent hetero arounds you or, you know, denial griffins you, it still counts. Um, and then uh, it, it also combos with the other grade 3 we have in the deck, and then the other skills when it attacks a vanguard, plus 2k, fine, I guess. Um, your other grade 3 are three copies of uh, Shot Sauvage. So his skill is when you ride on top of an honorary professor, Chat Noir, you can discard a grade 3 honorary professor to get uh, one of two honorary professor strides and stride it. So the way it's worded kind of sounds weird, but what it's supposed to do is you break ride and then immediately stride so your break ride effect gets put on the stride you have because they both happen at the same time so uh, this was made specifically for one combo it's really funny but it, th that's pretty much all you're gonna do you, you either need to kill or get close to killing your opponent on this turn so yeah Four copies of Crayon Tiger because this is still great nature and you still run this and I don't even I'm not even gonna say the effect anymore. Pause the video if you need it that bad. Uh, four copies of Go Home Toad. So it still is GB1. If you have an honorary professor Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one and he gets the ability to attack from back row, and then at the end of the turn he's retired. So uh, this is meant to go with your break ride combo, so you can like, you know, put dopes in a bunch of places and you can be in the back row and do shit. Um, I like him. He, he, he's a pretty good card. Uh, there's not really much else to do in the, in the grade two lineup, so just run him. He does fine. Uh, three copies of Field Blast Otter. Uh, so on call, you can uh, GB one. You can give something a dope. Uh, the card says you have to do it, and it has to be on something else. But it's been eroded. You can look it up. Um, it's optional, and you can do it to himself. So just keep that in mind. And then also he's got success 20k, and if he's successful at the end of the turn, you bounce him. So, pretty good card for like early rushing. If you get a trigger on him in front of a 7k boost, he's uh, hitting for 21, and then you get him back at the end. Uh, you can give more dopes to more rear guards, and yeah. Four copies of uh, Shellmaster. You're on Flippy PG. This deck tends to use its counter blast all in one turn, so being able to get it back is nice. Um, three copies of your stride fodder, uh, so it's mostly just so you can stride. I don't really need to say much else about this. Four copies of Coiling Duckbill. But Atlas, you can also search for Big Belly. I mean, the stride, I guess. Uh, four Duckbill, three Mike Saburo, so th these are the life insurance twins I'm referring to. Uh, both of them have an effect that when they're called during your main phase, you pick a rear guard and give it a still that, uh, in Duckbill's case, when it's put in drop zone, you draw a card, and in Mike's case, you search a grade three. So this is so you can search for your honorary professor pieces, and this is so you can draw cards. Oftentimes, you'll like throw down a bunch at once, and so you can draw a bunch of cards and search something. Pretty good. You don't need to run more than three Mikes, though, just because they're, you know, y y you'll get clogged with grade three stuff. One... One copy of Reader Pig. Uh, his skill is when he's placed on rear. You can have him get the skill. He's allowed to attack from back row, so he's like the Toad, except uh, it happens when you call him. So uh, I didn't really find much usage for this because your grade one is mostly concerned with drawing into your combo pieces, so this is mostly just a tech. Uh, it does go pretty well with this other stride we're about to see in a minute here, but he's fine. If you want to run more of him, you can drop stride fodders or duck bills, your choice. Uh, 
four heal triggers. I don't need to say anything about that. And uh, what do they do? The heal trigger? I mean, they, they don't call. They, they don't do anything with the. I don't run that G guard in the build, so. For all intents and purposes, they're vanilla. You can run vanillas if you want. I don't care. Uh, and then because I'm... Yeah, why run 4k vanillas when you can run 5k vanillas? Because I'm lazy. Uh, and then 12 crit because... Uh, honestly, That's draw, how you win games. Yeah, pretty much. Draw triggers make you die. Stand triggers I haven't really experimented enough to know about yet. So just for, for now, it's 12 crit. Um, you do still run the big belly crit because you have the big belly stride that you can use it on. Um, yeah, so it's pre it's pretty straightforward. You call things, you kill your opponent, you draw cards. Uh, your G-Zone, so you have two copies of Kath Palook. So the skill is, if you have an Honor Professor Heart, when a rear guard attacks, uh, you can counterblast and give a rear guard plus 4k and at the end of the turn draw and retire. So this is kind of like your break ride still, it's just a counterblast is assigned to it. And, uh, it also means that uh, because it's again assigned to the vanguard if your rear guard dies or goes away or whatever you still get draws for it so uh, pretty good first stride um, it's also going to use up all your counter blast in one turn so just keep that in mind uh, two copies of uh, do 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 so uh, one of them is SP I guess uh, so the skill is you on attack you counter blast you turn a copy of him face up for every card in your G-Zone, you can call a card from hand and give it plus 4k and at the end of the turn draw and retire. So this is meant to work with the pig, where you call a bunch of pigs in the back row and they can attack that way and they're hitting for 11. And, you know, you attack with your field first and call over stuff. Um, honestly, I don't go into this that much, but it's uh, kind of a fun thing to go into late game if you have a big hand and you just want to call a new field and then kill your opponent that way. Uh... I feel like if you wanted to go into this more, you could run four copies by dropping Kath uh, and uh, a font, which you'll see in a second here. And, you know, th there's another way to do it, but honestly, I haven't had the patience to test it. So that's me. Uh, one copy of a font. So counter blast, turn, uh, turn a card face up in G zone. Give me anything you want. Um, and then he gets 4k for every rear guard that you pick, and everyone you pick can't be retired by card effects. So, pretty simple. What? I don't understand. Isn't it the battery's dead or something? No. It's blinking. It's, it would turn off if it were dead. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, one Hrimthurs, so at the end of the battle he attacks, you can Soul Blast. Pick a rear guard, give it 4k, and then you can give it another 4k. If it's 20k or more, you uh, draw a card and at the end of the turn retire the thing you picked. So you can use this as a first stride if you didn't open up too good. Um, I kind of think of it as a staple in a lot of great great nature decks. One copy of Kill Timka, so success 25k, and then when you hit success, you put four cards from your drop zone at the bottom and give it something... Uh, uh, dope in a life insurance, so this is if your deck's running low. Uh, if you went into it, something probably bad happened. The deck should, or the game should not be going this long. Uh, two copies of Big Belly. Oftentimes, this is my second stride after Kath. Um, so you counter blast, flip, pick something, give it 4k for everything in G-Zone, then pick a unit and uh, give it red text on hit, stand up to the number of rear guards besides it uh, as the cards in your G-Zone. So oftentimes, you'll pick something opposite Crayon Tiger, so you can attack with it, then attack with Crayon Tiger, restand it, and then attack with it again, so you can hopefully restand the field. Uh, pretty good mid-game stride, can also be a finisher. Um, two copies of Mana Garm, so similar reason. Uh, can be a finisher, can be a mid-game stride, there's lots of things you can do with it. Counterblast, flip a copy, uh, pick two rear guards, give them 4k, and then red text when they attack. If they're 20k or more, your opponent can't guard grid one or higher, so... He's more of a finisher than Big Belly is, but that's that's that. Uh, one Seabreeze, because why not? This is mostly what you're going to be flipping with Afunk. Um, two Ardillo and two Kundalini. So you use up Counter Blast a lot, so Kundalini can kill off a Duckbill in the back row and get your Counter Charge back. And then Ardillo, uh, a lot of your stuff dies all at once, so it can help you, uh, you know, you if you have three or more open rearguard spots, he's plus 10k shield. So... These are fine. You don't need to run the uh, 
the unflippy G guard. You're not trying to go for GB8, and you don't need to run uh, El Mirage because you don't really need a field there when you start your turn. Uh, your goal is to try and kill on first or second stride and be as aggressive as you can. So that's the deck. I won in the cheesiest way possible, but that's life. So we'll see you next time on Nexus Core.